I'm trying to go as high as I can with a gyrocopter. In other words, possibly try to beat the world record. It's not the best time of the year because it's warm already early in the morning, um, probably 20 degrees when we leave, which makes climbing near the ground slower. But from 15,000 feet onwards, it really doesn't make a difference. It's great because there's little moisture now in the air and we do not want any moisture. So yeah, we've got blue skies and beautiful weather. So let's do it. I was very confident that we can achieve it. Um, I'm, I, I think we know what the aircraft does and I, I knew about the preparations, what we have done. So for me at least, the one for the open aircraft was um, 
definite to achieve and the other ones um, we see what we find finally um, and I believe to the technical solution of the GPS so for me Martin has been where he was and it, I think it's really amazing what he has done. It has shown once again that we can push limits and that's part of our philosophy if we can make things happen we try to do it. Um, when we started with the um, Kalidos everybody said you can't fly with an enclosed cockpit and we have shown you can do safely and easily and we have shown you can fly with side-by-side -side concepts so I have a few more ideas what we want to show in the future so it is part of our philosophy say what we can push we will push. On behalf of Namibia Autogyro the uh, official representatives of Autogyro in Germany I think uh, it is a very proud moment for us to see one of our pilots who achieved this record it makes us very proud to see that with a standard machine this could be achieved. And I believe what, what Martin set out to do on this uh, with this attempt was completed and I'm very proud everybody was involved and especially on Martin himself by doing this and uh, it's definitely not for the faint hearted to be a pilot at 20,663 feet um, but if you have the right guy with the big heart it's possible. It has technical challenges on the one side, on the other side it's a challenge to the one that's doing it. So Martin prepared himself on the fire psychological side and we helped to prepare the aircraft. And it's about airspace and people surrounding and helping and to find the right location. I'm, I'm pretty sure this location was perfect for what we did. It's in the right attitude, it's calm. Um, we don't have other airspaces around, so perfect place to do it. Enjoy the time of your life that you're in. Use the gyro with confidence and care and do not think it's a toy. Um, it's not a toy, it's an incredible machine and it'll respond to exactly how you treat it. If you treat it with uh, respect, it'll, it'll do you very well. If you do not handle it respectfully, it, it can hurt you, it, it can actually kill you. Thank you for your support. Very, very proud, yeah, I think I'm, I'm glad he sets himself these challenges and he has fun and that's the same Spaß macht, it's lecker.